And good morning, everyone from Amsterdam. Oh, good news. The vlog, the vlog uploaded last night. It uploaded no issues as I was resting. I slept so well. This is good news. Ah, just, you know, not having to worry at all about that. Getting it up for you and, uh, okay, just making, making my bed here. And yes, Demore Global Running uniting in Amsterdam today. You better believe it. But real quick, just want to give you a quick update on the weather. Some people are asking about that, uh, what's going to be happening here on Sunday. So let me just pull up the app. Let's see. So Friday, showers and wind. That's today when you're watching this. Saturday, showers, light rain early, then remaining cloudy with showers in the afternoon, high of 58 degrees Fahrenheit. And then let me just make sure here. Sunday, it's looking, it says chance of afternoon showers, highs in the upper 50s and lows in the upper 40s. Perfect. So it looks like Sunday there might be rain in the evening, but the race will be over by then. So actually, everyone, uh, I'll just pull it out here. Yes, we're going we're gonna to start honing in on the shoes uh, today, but you know my thesis on the 4% and the next percent and uh, whether to wear, which, which one to wear given the weather. So anyway, okay, let me just get this and then we're going to start rolling here. Oh, man, I always, do, I always destroy my bed when I'm sleeping in it, just totally annihilate the, the comforter. I don't know about you, but I always sleep better if I make my bed, like if it's all made, I always sleep better. It's just, I don't know, it's always been that way. Did I already say this in the room? I can't remember. My legs are starting to feel real good. I woke up this morning and they just feel great. So they're starting to come around, really react to that taper. Okay, we're almost there. I see him. I see him. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. Look at you guys. How you doing? Good to see everyone. Paul? Pog, good to meet you. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Hey, How's Camille. it going? Camille. Camille, good to meet you. Yeah, Zotan. Zotan, good to meet Where are you both from? <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, that sign's amazing. <laughs> I thought, yeah, it would be pretty cool yeah, just, to, know, just to just sort of uh, get something special. I love it. This is great. The liver our uh, journey. But, yeah, uh, it was great. Okay. Oh my goodness. So you are, you are, you're, you're fit. You're in shape. Yeah, I'm in shape. Good. It's uh, difficult. Yeah. It's uh, rarely am I uh, am I not on time, right? Usually it publishes on time. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. <laughs> Almost done. Here's the crew. <laughs> oh my goodness. Absolutely brilliant, everyone. Just brilliant. Thank you. Shout out to everyone who came out for another Demore Global Running 
run in Amsterdam today. Oh my goodness. So first of all, Paul coming through with some ribbon for my bottles. Appreciate that. That's going to help. And then, yes, you better believe where this is going to hang up once I get back home in the studio. So cool. So amazing. I think we're starting a little bit of a new tradition here. And uh, I'm going to have to start thinking about maybe a group run in Argentina for the World Mountain Running Championships in November. Uh, whatever. I don't know. Let's do it. Like whatever city I'm able to travel to for these races, let's keep meeting up like we did one last week in Vienna. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to come say hello. Get four easy miles in. It was perfect through Bondel Park, just cruising along. And uh, now I am um, I'm on a mission for lunch. And then uh, I have a little more thinking to do uh, for the bottle. So I'll keep you posted on what my plan is for that because it's Friday now. I know you're watching this on Saturday, but I need to deliver these bottles to the, um, to the tent, the place where I pick up my bib numbers by no later than 3 p.m. on Saturday. And then what happens is they have the bottles overnight and then they take the bottles and distribute them, whatever their system is, they distribute them around the course to all the tables along the way. So my task today, because I don't want to have to think about this tomorrow, my task is to get all of these ready for the distribution on Saturday. All right, everyone. Ah, so cool. True love. True love is going to love this, by the way. Ah, nailed it. Just nailed it. All right. Maybe I should uh, hang it on the wall while we're here in the hotel. <laughs> All right, I'm off to the grocery store. Uh, little known fact, I don't know if I've ever shared this before, but I actually really love, and it connects to Seeking Beauty, sorry if it's a little windy, um, is that I really love uh, classical art and just like looking at beautiful pieces of artwork. And so it, it pains me that in that museum right down there, the Rix, I'm not saying it right, but the Rix Museum um, houses quite a few pieces of Rembrandt's art, so I'm not, I'm resisting going into the museum. I should not be walking around for hours looking at artwork, so guess what that means? I'm just gonna have to come back to look at Rembrandt right down there. It's gonna be epic someday, but not on this trip. I just gotta rest and uh, go get food right now at a grocery store, uh, and this is gonna be the food that I'm gonna eat uh, on the morning of the race, which is tomorrow when you're watching this, so I don't wanna have to think about it on Saturday. A real supermarket. It's huge. I've been looking for a big supermarket this entire trip, like a big one. This is awesome. We don't have mist in the United States. That is cool. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little overwhelmed. There's a lot going on in this store and I can't read the labels, but we're making do, we're making do. Feeling real good about that shopping situation. Oh man, what a great grocery store. All right, on to the expo. Gonna get wet sooner or later. All right, here we go. Making a run for it. Woo! Hi. Hey, come on. Come on up. Okay. There's the email. Is that what you need? Okay. Yes, from USA. There we go. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Filming. There we go. Perfect. 411. Thank you. All right. It's going to be good. Thank you. Put, putting you to work. Awesome. Looks good. Look. Okay. Where do I pick that up? Down there. Okay. Perfect. Yes, I know. Looks good. <laughs> I'm a Rembrandt fan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, he was he was excited for me. That is awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you for volunteering. Shout out to all the volunteers. All right, 
everyone. Just met Chico. Exactly. Where are you from? Where are you from? From Brazil. From Brazil? Yeah. He watches the vlog in Brazil and you just just landed. Just landed. Yeah, just he landed. was unable to come to the morning run uh, in Vondo Park this morning, but which I regret it so much. But we meet here. Exactly. Amazing. Such a great coincidence. Yeah. Buying some clothes. Right? And you're uh, you're racing? Yeah. I'm yeah, racing. yeah. I'm okay. Racing, uh, looking to to Maybe cross the finish line in 2:55. Wow! Yeah. So break the th break the three-hour mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Well, shout out to Chico. Thanks for watching Thanks, the vlog. Man. Appreciate Thanks, it. Man. Yeah. This is actually really smart. I would not have thought of this. You can check your bib so that it uh, is co so that the number you're assigned is connected to the correct uh, your name. So here we go. Let's scan it here. Okay. There it is. Perfect. That's good. Good, good, good. By the way, I just talked to the people at the information desk. I can drop off the bottles tomorrow. It's, uh, I thought it was 10, but it's eight bottles, so it's, which is, it's fine. So it's 5K, 10K, 15, 20, 25, 30, all the way up to 40K. And I drop them off tomorrow. It was easy. They were very uh, helpful there at the front, at the information desk. So that is good news. We will, I will bring them back uh, tomorrow on Saturday. So, all right, let's keep rolling. It's uh, tempting to pull out the debit card and just start buying everything, but I'm going to resist. I'm going to resist. All right, I need to head back to the hotel. I could stay in that expo all day. And uh, good to meet you, Adrian, right there at the end as well. So that was fun. That was actually my first uh, big major marathon expo uh, that I've ever been to. So, oh man, it's like Disneyland in there, but we will see you back at the hotel. Oh yeah, there we go, back at the hotel. We are loaded up now, loading up this mini fridge. All right, right Dio, right Dio. Time for some afternoon tea, don't mind if I do. And yes, it is time for the all important gear check. You better believe it. It's time to make sure everything made it over on the airplane. I've already seen it here and there, but I just, uh, now that I have the, uh, the bib number, no messing around. So there is that. Let me just pull out the singlet here, the headband, the shorts, the socks, and uh, I'll double check the weather. But again, as I said this morning, the weather is looking up for Sunday morning. Okay, there it is. And I know a lot of people want to buy this singlet. Not quite ready yet, but uh, yes, we will be placing the Seek Beauty work hard and love each other on a singlet. Uh, what do you what do you say? Maybe by Christmas, so it could be a little Christmas uh, Christmas gift. And then, yes, of course, my racing sunglasses, the Smith sunglasses that I love. They made it over as well. We'll put those there and that there. And then, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So, the rain appears not to be in the forecast, but I'm still not counting out the next percents. We shall see. So here are the four percents right there. I'm going to set that down there and then grab the socks over here. Uh-huh. The racing socks right there. And bada bing, a bada boom. Now, this is the fair weather kit, okay? Janji shorts, spelled J-A-N-J-I. My Solomon socks, Nike Vaporfly 4% fly knits, my rabbit singlet, my halo headband. Uh, I sweat, and so I do not like sweat running into my eyes, and therefore that is why I wear this. And then my Smith sunglasses I already mentioned, and of course I will be pinning my bib number on after I fill it out. So I'm going to put my name, date of birth, um, my emergency contact, hopefully we don't need that. And then I already double checked that this is going to work for the, this is how you will track me through the app is by using that. And let's just make sure. I, I forgot to double check, but sure enough, they are on top of it. Four pins, just like that. So, and with that, okay, got the four percents on. Just feeling them out a little bit, and it's getting very real here. There it is. There's the bib. Uh, basically, oh yeah, and I'm going to start working on the bottles right now. But uh, because I got the bottles, got the tape, got the ribbon, got the blue marker for marking 5K, 10K, 15K, etc. But I'm going to call it there. Uh, no question of the day. Uh, okay, quick quick uh, note. Tomorrow's vlog is actually going to publish early. 
because I'm going to talk about my race day strategy for the Amsterdam Marathon. But I want it to publish before the marathon actually happens. So it's going to publish on, let's say, like I'm going to leave for the starting line a little before 8 a.m. So it'll publish between like 6.30 a.m. and 8 a.m. local time here in, in uh, Amsterdam. Uh, so that'll be for tomorrow's vlog, and I'm going to talk about the strategy. Uh, so anyway, take note of that. And then what else was I going to say? Um, I think that's it. Okay, question of the day. No question of the day. Rather, a thank you to all of you for coming on this journey. Really, since the beginning of 2019, when I had this dream, I've actually had this dream for a long time, but to try and qualify for the Olympic trials and was cut, cut short in the Cleveland Marathon training block because of that... Uh, stress reaction in my left foot so i was unable to race cleveland was kind of dancing around trying to figure out okay what will be my next chance to race a marathon sure enough ended up in amsterdam and uh we made it we made it together thanks for holding me accountable uh into the training thanks for inspiring me to train hard during these last really these last two months especially uh since pike's peak and uh so just want to say thank you onward and upward um, it's inspiring to continue to read your comments and to meet many of you here at meetups around the world and uh, Demore Global Running is going strong. So I love you. Thank you. And um, yeah, you'll see tomorrow's vlog published early with a race day stat strategy. And then once the race is over, of course, I will update you. You're, you're frankly going to know before I even know what my time is. Uh, that's just how modern, uh, modern racing works at this point in the game. All right, tossing it back to a couple Amsterdam. Actually, you know what? We'll toss it back to an old Cleveland Marathon vlog on the right, uh, training for the Cleveland Marathon, just to show you how long we've been on this journey. And then on the left, talking about Amsterdam training there on the left. All right, I love you guys. Seek beauty. Work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.